So monthly trader is someone who is not day trading, maybe has a full-time job and just follows the market and wants to put, you know, maybe one or two trades a week. And the holding time in this service is five to 20 days. So every week, basically model runs and basic and says, you know, market is oversold on October 7th, we posted, uh, you should consider buying uh, Russell 2000, right? So if you bought Russell 2000 on October 7th, when the market opened, uh, you can wait for one, again, you have two choices. You can wait 144, or you can buy it at market close. If you wait for 144.62, this is our predicted low price. Uh, in this case, it never reached that level. So you would not be in the position if you wait for strategy A. Strategy A meaning that if you see market selling off, wait for predicted low. If you bought it on Monday um, at 149 level, uh, then you can see as of right now, market is up. So it's up uh, almost, what is it? $2, $2, so one and a half percent. So this is uh, the monthly trader service. The advantage of using these services is that not only do we provide you trend analysis and support and resistance at what levels to buy, you know, put 50% at 144, put 50% at 141, your stop level is, um, uh, at this point is um, 5%, 5 5 percent of 144 is $7. So the 5% stop loss, 5% target gain. But the, we also have analysis that happens on the weekend when the signals are posted where we be, go and ask a question, which stocks does the model per, um, predict well or ETFs in this case? And can we, and has it been more successful at least 75% of the time when that signal was generated? So you have this extra level of scrutiny for this monthly trader where we give you three bullish and three bearish trade signals, right? Square, CMS, uh, where we basically say for Square and IWM, usually model is doing a good job predicting the stocks. 75% of the time, the signal is accurate. So that's why I encourage you, if you wanna trade on your own, Start with these services based on you know your time outlook and how long do you hold the position. So in this example, I'm holding this five to 20 days. You have three bullish, three bearish trade ideas. And if you want to leverage, instead of trading stocks, you can always trade options, right? If you, for 100 shares of IWM, you have to commit $12,000. And that requires a pretty large portfolio. If you want to buy options, you can buy deep in the money call for $19.60 this way, you're only committing $2,000, right? So you get significant leverage in your portfolio and you can participate in even in the larger stocks or ETF by buying these calls or buying spreads. You can utilize strategies that you're comfortable. Some people like Iron Condor, some people like Butterfly, vertical spreads. I actually trade vertical spreads when I do these monthly trades because I, they are directional trades. They're not market neutral, they're directional trades. So debit spreads or credit spreads are probably more appropriate than butterfly or um, iron condors. So this is an example of the monthly trader. You can trade stock work, you can trade options, you have holding time anywhere from five to 20 days. And we're looking, with this example, we're going back, going into November, I actually went into December contracts when I execute this trade because I'm, you know, I think by November 15th, I think the market is still going to be volatile. We're still going to be in the sideways range, but, uh, you know, starting maybe November 15th, you know, second half of November, you know, we might have, you know, I think we will have this classical uh, uh, year end rally. 